Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode I'm going to show you a little problem that we have with this filament holder. Uh, this is the filament holder I created about a year ago and it worked very very good and a lot of people are very happy with it. But after a year of use I'm finding out that there is some wear out of it. So uh, there is a small problem with it. And uh, well, before other people say me that there is a problem, I want to say you that there is a problem. So uh, I also want to give the hints on how to solve this problem. But before we do that, I noticed that a lot of people who are watching my YouTube videos are not subscribed. So if you like my videos, please use the subscribe button uh, down below the, uh, the video. Because that really helps me a lot. I need a lot more subscribers uh, to have an influential voice uh, at some companies where I want to test some things. And uh, it's, it's, you're going to benefit of it. So please help me out by subscribing to my channel. That said, this filament holder. The problem is that there is a little bit of wear. And when the filament goes through, uh, then it goes under an angle, so here at the bottom side there is a little bit of wear, but also here at the back side there is a little bit of wear. And uh, after a year of use I found that it's so much uh, of a problem, there is so much tension and friction in it, uh, that the filament is actually uh, being, yeah, being hauled back. So my extruder motor has to work very hard just to get the filament in. And that's not good. Uh, you can hear the motor uh, make clicking noise sometimes just because it couldn't get the filament in. And there is a very, very simple solution that's going to help you uh, yeah, to end this problem. What you have to do is you have to buy yourself some PTFE tube. And it's really inexpensive. Uh, I bought uh, 5 meters of it for, I guess it was $3 or something like that. So uh, it's really inexpensive tube, um, don't know the exact price but it was something like that. And uh, it's a PTFE tube and the outer diameter is uh, 4 mm and the inner diameter is uh, only 2 mm. So when you have this tube uh, there is a small problem with this hole because this hole ain't 4 mm wide. You have to use a drill bit to drill it to 4 mm. It's now 3.7 mm wide and it has to be 4 mm. So you have to use a drill bit and then you can run the PTFE tube through this part. So when it's, when it's true, then you can connect the PTFE tube to the back of the printer or, or the whole complete holder to the back of the printer and then you have to use the uh, drill bit again because on the back side of the printer, just where the filament is going into the extruder motor, there is a small hole and that hole is also nearly 4 mm. You have to use the drill bit just by hand. You don't need a drill for it, just by hand you can do it. Uh, you have to wear out that hole so it's 4 mm wide, just for, for a few millimeters deep. Because then you can run the PTFE tube to the inside there and then the filament goes in here through the tube and goes all the way until there is the extruder motor and from the extruder motor it goes directly into another PTFE tube to the carriage. So if you do it this way then it's a very smooth path for the filament to go through and uh, there is not a lot of wear. Uh, it's, it's very very easy for the extruder motor to get the filament from the spool and directly to the, 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 the nozzle. So this is what I really uh, encourage you to do because it costs only a few cents and uh, it makes the printer so much better. It, it really smoothens out how the extruder motor has to work. And uh, I only found out after a year because bef before that I didn't have the problem of the wearing uh, that much. But, but now it's to a point that it's a problem. So uh, I will link this video also to uh, the filament spool holder. And I also will, yeah, will ask everyone who has this spool holder make this yeah, little modification. Uh, because it's very simple and you have so much fun of it. So... Thanks again.
If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Use the subscribe button because it really helps me out. Also, if you want to support the channel, well, it's possible. You can support the channel by just using the link in the description down below and it brings you to my PayPal page uh, where you can uh, give me a dollar or so uh, just uh, to help me out buy some new stuff for the printer, buy some filaments or that kind of things so I can make more videos for you guys and well it helps me out so thanks a lot and I'll see you next week when there is a new video from the 3D print creator bye bye